Hello, welcome to Spurvert part two. In part one, we talked about Arsenal and we were feeling pretty deflated. But part two, it's Vertonghen's new contract negotiations. Have you seen this? Apparently, yes. we're trying to offer Jan a new contract and it's reported to be worth 50k a week. Whoa, a whopping 50 grand for Jan Vertonghen, who's doesn't in his late like 20s. Much. Oh my God. Doesn't seem like much, does it? Wow. Phil Walker's on 140 grand a week at Arsenal. Yeah. 140 grand. I know, and and we're gonna give Vertonghen. That's so. That's a, that's a slap in the face. Bear in mind, last week we were talking about how Loftus Cheek is now on sixty grand a week, and Jan Vertonghen is. This is a man who has, in recent years, been linked with a move away from Spurs, and yeah. in order to entice him, Daniel Levy says, "You know what? From thirty-nine grand, <laughs> we're gonna take you up to fifty. Here's an extra eleven is he grand, Jan Vertonghen." At the moment? Yes. Oh my. God. An extra eleven grand from Daniel Levy. Wow. Maybe what is that? Maybe there's like crazy bonuses. What? Was it for a defender? Oh, for this tackle, clean you sheet. get... Clean sheet, you get 100 grand. <laughs> it's got to be, there's got to be some insane, bro. I, I don't I, know. I just think it's... I think What's it's, Toby on? Do you know? It's, I think it's got to be more, because we only signed him for 11 million, so there's got to be a lot more, you know, bicker to play with in, in terms of his wages. 50 but, grand. Come on, Daniel. 39 grand more. he's on. Uh, Harry Kane's on more than him, isn't he? How much is Harry Kane on, Jeeves? Da uh, Harry De Kane's on more than him. Dele Alli's just signed a 40 grand deal, hasn't he? Or he's... He's about to. 30. No, he's on 30. Is it 30? Yeah, but 39. That's what I'm saying. But he's 19. Jan Vertonghen's one of our senior players. Yeah, 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 yeah. 50 grand. We're still paying some of Adam Yor's wages. Just shoot me now. That's why. As soon as we start doing now. that, we get and, the rest and of the And he played against us. I'm not, I don't want to go back into the Palace game, but he played against us. Well, we're paying his wages. So do you How think does this work? To be honest, it's negotiation. So maybe Vertonghen will go, what we're saying, and he'll go, I need more than that. Do you know what it is? It's because they take these players from, you know, Dutch leagues, Ajax and that, where they're earning, like, next to nothing, really, as is professionals. That true? They're not earning a lot is as professionals. Based on any fact? No, seriously, they don't is earn it? a lot. Yeah, even Christian Eriksen over there in the Dutch league, they get paid significantly less than in the Premier League. Right. Come over here, and then they kind of, you know, strong arm them with, oh, here you go, 40 grand over there. He was earning 10. And then, but then United 50 will grand. Come in or, or Chelsea or City, and they'll go. Barcelona will give him 80, 90, 100 easily. Well, we'll see, we'll see. But, interestingly, with us slagging Daniel Levy off just then, only yes. about this one specific thing, Gary Mabbott has come out and said that Spurs' success is down to Levy and that Levy deserves a lot more credit than he's getting. Chairmen only get mentioned when they're doing badly and Levy has got loads of stuff going on with the new stadium, with putting his trust in Poch, letting Poch pick his backroom staff and all this sort of stuff and we should be praising Levy more than we are, particularly in this video. I mean, as a businessman, you can't criticise Daniel Levy. There, you know, <laughs> I mean, no, you just did. I mean, I mean, I mean, no, as a, but no, but like, <laughs> in the wages, he could be, he could be nicer. He could pay them more yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. But running Spurs, he's done a very good job. I have to give it to him. Most Pick profitable club in Europe is, was it last year? Uh, picking managers, though, he's it's taken him how long? Twelve years? How many managers yeah. have we had in that space of time? He's been he's been awful. Really, yeah, so he's, he's got it right. You know, eleventh try. That's Finally, he's got it right. Yeah. After eleven different managers, he's got anyone could do that after eleven managers, surely. Well, what Mabbott said is that it was interesting that there was such a criticism when AVB went, when Harry Redknapp went, but now. Everyone's happy with Poch, so everyone's kind of gone, ah, he was right all along. Yeah, 11th bite of the cherry. Oh, you got it right. It's not about spending money. It's about getting <laughs> someone floss. Daniel Levy is a businessman. Joe Lewis, all of them, well done. You can run a business. You're planning to sell the club and move on. Oh, venture capital is great. Okay. But at the end of the day, we can't act like they know what's best for our club because they don't care about the club, really. They care about, oh, I don't know. I mean, this is what they care about. I'd, I'd say Daniel Levy cares about the club. Nah. No? Nah, not. nah. He cares about making a huge profit in the future. That's what it is for these guys. They're going to sell on and move on to something else. That's what they do. It's business. They don't care about it. What do you think he's going to do next? Who knows? Probably move to the Bahamas with Joe Lewis. <laughs> you uh, both them together. Just get a little poke condo. around, yeah. Just hide in a bunker <laughs> somewhere. Um, on the subject of business and Poch, the Mirror and the Star have both claimed that Spurs are offering uh, Maurizio Pochettino a new contract to get rid of interest from Chelsea, United and Real Madrid. Apparently Chelsea last month, according to some papers, inquired about Poch's availability. Um, what? And Yeah, I know, right? Like he'd want to be associated with a racist club. Yeah, exactly. Full of yours. A racist relegation club. Why, why would he want to go over there and deal with that? What about Real Madrid though? Oh. You can see why you'd be. They're the pinnacle of football. Exactly. Really? really? Yeah, although they're not doing great at the moment, and maybe that's but why they But they're the most decorated watch. club in, in football history, so, I know. you know, you, you, there's, it's very tempting. I know. It's yeah. very tempting. And I, I, but in my head, I think, well, he won't leave. Why would he leave? Look at what he's building. But then uh, I bet Southampton fans said that. You know, I'm, I'm here at Spurred On building. Spurred but if ITV on. come, I mean, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, I'll be here for life. I'll be here for life. Yeah, because they're not coming. Anyway, <laughs> his current deal is 3.5 million a year. Yeah. And he's got three and a half years left on his contract. 
So they're obviously he's going to up the money for that if they're if this is true if these reports are true that he is going to offer a new contract. We've got to, we've got to offer him a new contract. He's yeah he's the most important person. He is he is that's it. He needs to get a new contract. But then so does his backroom staff as well. We can't leave them all out. Jesus and all of them. If they the club was run by you though, we, it would, we, everyone would be on the most insane wages. No, I just think <laughs> I just think people should get what they want. Jan Vertonghen on fifty grand to me is is disrespectful. Fifty thousand pounds a week. It's disrespectful. <laughs> uh, don't, do so that. don't do that. Don't do that. In football terms, know, it's, know, it's, know, it's ridiculous. Know, it's absolutely it's ridiculous. It's all relative. Fair enough. Uh, all right. Well, last bit of news. Um, did you see this funny story about the fact that Leicester players at the weekend were turned away from a <laughs> nightclub in London uh, because they were in the queue and they weren't let in, and then up rocks Eric Dyer, who you criticised. Hugo Lloris, who you also criticised. Nasser Chadley, who you didn't have to criticise because he was sort of irrelevant, except in the West Ham game when he was awful. They rock up and suddenly they walk straight into the oh nightclub yeah. because they play for Spurs, <gasps> not Leicester. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you when I saw Hugo Lloris at one of those swanky bars in, um, in Bank, remember that time? Yeah, I remember. And he was having a few cigs, allegedly. Um, <laughs> but, uh, look, Hugo gets into these places, man. What can I say? It's, He's cool it's and normal suave with French. He was wearing a nice leather jacket. The bouncers fancied like him. him. He's gorgeous. And also like Danny Drinkwater and all that. They look like a bunch of sixth formers on their first night out. Come the on. Spurs lads. Drink water. There's leather on. Vardy, these guys will rock up in McKenzie to the nightclub. Exactly. They're wearing like blazers <laughs> like they've never seen a blazer before. And Do you know shirts. what I mean? Oh, With loafers on. Wallabies. What, what? You can't come to the Idiots. club in wallabies. They don't know what they're doing. And then they've pictured them all on the phone afterwards being like, oh, we couldn't know. We couldn't get in. Let us in, mate. Let us in, mister. On their Nokia 6230s mate. and their Blackberries. Get, get with the times, even if, even if you do win the league, you didn't get into that nightclub that one time. So Spurs are better than you at that. Exactly. And that's kind of all that matters. And that's, no, uh, yeah, all right, yeah. fine. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below about all those things. Is Gary Mabbott right? Should we be praising Levy more than we are? Us particularly. Should we be praising Levy more than we are? Does Vertonghen deserve more than 50 grand a week? He definitely does. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Drop us a like and we will see you soon. Hello and welcome to Spurred on TV. Now, in honour of Deli Ali's showstopper of a goal against Crystal Palace, I've compiled my top 10 list 